The study that we are presenting looked at women who had DCIS or ductal carcinoma in situ following lumpectomy. And the goal was really to use this novel biosignature called decision RT to see if we could sort patients into different groups. Um, the three groups being low risk patients, elevated risk patients, and residual risk patients based on this biosignature. Um, and the key results are that about 37% of women were low risk in this uh, cohort, and they demonstrated no benefit to the addition of radiation following lumpectomy. Amongst the 43% of women who were found to be elevated risk, they demonstrated a substantial benefit to radiation of almost 15% reduction in recurrence in the breast with radiation, with the rate after radiation being similar to the low risk group. And then the third group, which was about 20%, were the residual risk group. And this group demonstrated a significant benefit to the addition of radiation, but even after radiation, their risk of recurrence was elevated at almost 15%, hence the residual risk um, categorization. The other thing that we found was that using traditional clinical pathologic features didn't pick these patients out. So when you look at patients who meet the low risk criteria by clinical and pathologic features, they had a huge percentage of patients who were actually reassigned to elevated risk based on the biosignature. In contrast, a lot of women who were felt to be elevated risk by clinical and pathologic features were actually reclassified as low risk and could skip radiation therapy um, in this situation.